terms of us being able to do our job, OS data has been critical on a number of levels. OS address space, you know, we, we couldn't have responded in the way we have without it. Um, there's no other data set that would allow us to easily, easily identify property class, property classification um, for each COVID case. So UPRN, unique property reference number, has had a huge impact on how we've been able to specify the exact location of cases, the type of property, being able to associate um, two locations with slightly different addresses to the same unique reference, uh, property reference number, and then being able to clearly define if that's a, a care home or a prison. And that, that analysis has informed residential cluster detection reports that have been shared with health protection teams to say, you know, 10 cases of COVID at this specific residential type. Previously, H1N1, we, we were mapping cases uh, of H1N1 to postcode. Uh, that, that doesn't give you the, um, the precise location of, of, of a case. It certainly doesn't give you the, the ability to be able to tie cases together that live at the same address. Um, so UPRN has really sort of provided um, a much better insight uh, and impact for, for how we've responded to COVID. One of the benefits of that and the quick, quick wins of that was um, integrating UPRN into um, the, the, the test ordering online. Um, so you, you go online, you order a test and it picks up the UPRN from the address that you're, you're um, searching for. So really important uh, use of ordered survey data to, to add that specificity to the characteristics of the COVID outbreaks locally. Highways, likewise, has been used to look at location of test sites um, to understand um, accessibility to those sites within two hour drive time, 45 minute walk. We also have used a lot of OS data for, for simple maps and I don't think that should be underestimated either that you know, the power of a map in a report uh, has, has been hugely beneficial. all the will in the world, you, you need that support to respond to something like COVID. We, we've never seen it before. Hopefully we don't see it again. If COVID's done anything, it's put us more, it's put, it's, it's put us closer to those questions that are being asked. And I think that's really going to pave the way for how we work in the future, um, be much closer to government, government departments, um, but also be closer to the, the external agencies and organisations that can support what we, what we plan to do uh, in terms of developing geospatial gate to say.